Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bupesh. Hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about a very short topic, a very easy topic on how to ship your logs from a local Ubuntu machine to Grafana Cloud. So this is the second session in the same playlist of Grafana Cloud. You are understanding how to create a Grafana Cloud account and then how to send metrics, logs, and traces from this uh, local machine to you, Grafana Cloud. In the last session, we have already seen how to set up this uh, Grafana Cloud account. If you do not know, you can refer to the previous session at the same uh, description. And then today we'll be talking about how to install this prompt tail agent because what Grafana Cloud uses in turn internally, they use this lock key to store the log. So basically we need an agent to send the logs from your local machine to the Grafana Cloud. So prompt tail agent will act as a in a mediator or will act as a uh, you know, you know uh, the channel. So basically, left hand side is your Ubuntu machine, and then this is the prompt tail agent, and this is the Grafana cloud. So this is the prompt tail agent which is sitting, and then it will take data and send it to your Grafana cloud. And then finally, we'll modify the prompt tail con configuration and then send to data to Grafana cloud. So let's quickly jump on to the actual implementation. It will be a very short session. So, and if you are not like and subscribe to the channel, please do that so that you can get on number of videos pertaining to Grafana, Grafana Cloud, Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, and a lot of DevOps technologies. Okay. And there's a, a GitHub page also for this. You can simply go and check this GitHub page. Let me close the unnecessary. Okay. So, this is the GitHub page I'm talking about. And this is the Grafana Cloud. I already have it. So, let's quickly see what we have in the, uh, the, the GitHub page. I've already opened uh, locally. Yeah. So first of all, you need to create a Grafana Cloud account. If you do not know, then it's fairly easy, and you will get a 15 days of Grafana Cloud. You need to type something like the Grafana Cloud, and then click on this, and then you enter your email ID, and then you'll get a free account for 15 days, and then you can do metrics, logs, and traces for learning perspective. So once you have Grafana Cloud account, you need to come to your machine or any machine and install the prompt tail agent to send the data from your local machine to e to the Grafana cloud so how to install prompt tail uh, you can simply refer this documentation which i have done it earlier already so simply come here there's a prompt tail dot yaml file you follow this documentation and install prompt tail on your machine or any machine uh, which you want to ship the logs and if you see the configuration this prompt tail is shipping all the data all where log star dot log data from this machine to this local lock key now in this case we'll change this client to local lock key to the grafana cloud lock key. that is the only change we are going to do so today is it will be very very simple topic so we we want to just change this configuration so once this prompt tail configuration prompt tail agent is installed with the help of this documentation you need to go to this location cd etc okay then you go to sudo vim uh prompt tail configuration so yeah this is the configuration i'm talking about and the same configuration i've pasted here for your reference so everything will remain same the only thing you need to make sure is you know row number nine the url of locky the local locky needs to be changed with the url of the grafana cloud locky now how will you get this uh url that is interesting to understand so you need to have a your grafana cloud id and the grafana cloud api token for this sending logs to this log server okay the locky log server and how will you get it and you are scraping all the logs from where log star dot log location the question that may arise to your mind how to get this uh, data so i'll go to my grafana cloud account okay which i already opened it for you you know i'll go to home understand this piece again you know click on manage subscription i have nine days left and then i'll go to this i should have signed it already but yeah go to this tag or the name of the on a cloud account then last time we did some certain changes in the prometheus section but now we will go to the locky section click on details because you need to send logs to this locky slowly scroll down this is the url where we are sending logs from your machine to this grafana cloud 
you're not talking about grafana life for today yeah sending logs to grafana cloud using prompt so this is what we need to do and yeah, this is the configuration see so you need to copy paste this configuration the prompt del configuration and interplace this grafana cloud.com api token and how to generate this uh, token you need to simply come here and generate now see then give some name you know log standalone anything and this token will be able to send data of metrics logs and traces right create token and copy that data suppose i'm doing it this okay it is already there okay let me do this so this is the token that gets generated copy this token and come to your instead of this this paste this data like this that's it paste it and paste it into the machine so this will be something like this simply come out of it this uh, grafana cloud user id and password has been pasted and then i'll simply restart my uh, prompt tail i'm stopping a prompt tail i am starting my prompt tail service i'm checking the status of prompt tail it is just started three seconds ago i'll check the service logs is there any error in the logs uh, quickly see good there are no logs and then i'll just validate the log in grafana cloud account pretty simple so i'll come here this is my grafana cloud stack okay launch i can click launch from here also so this is my grafana cloud account i've launched it okay i'll go to home i'll go to explore okay and then i'll select so you will have all the data source already configured click on logs and then either i can select like this file name so these are all where logs so i can simply select any of the files suppose auth.log okay and then i do filtration i can see the data is coming nicely from last one hour and it is coming from my local laptop you can see or i can simply run in a different fashion i can say file name or job name okay where logs and simply run it like this you'll see all the data coming from this so there are two ways to filter the data or you can add some more uh, you know dashboards also let me see if i have any dashboards a locky dashboards if i have this is locky dashboard so let me see if there is any default dashboard from locky i just have to copy id to clipboard let me try to import Locky data source. This is the Locky data source. I don't think we have any Prometheus data. So nothing is coming. I don't. This is not the right dashboard. So dashboard you can create it manually, uh, panel by panel. So I'm not uh, not gonna in talk about dashboards in today's session. So what we discussed. Let me quickly do a wrap up. Okay. Okay. So first of all, we inst we created a grafana cloud account so you should have a valid email id prerequisite to have a grafana cloud account and then after having a grafana cloud account you install prompt tail agent onto your machine which is the second step which we did okay you install the prompt tail agent on your machine or any machine for that matter and then modify the prompt tail configuration to send the logs to grafana cloud and the configuration is pretty much state forward there's no rocket science in this so the only thing you need to be worried about is row number nine modify the url and the rest of the things and you can have different scrape configurations also right currently i'm scraping star.log from this location so i'll take a pause if you have any further questions and queries pertaining to this session post down into the comment section next session will be on sending traces sending traces from your local or any machine to grafana cloud and then we'll take sessions on grafana alloy is a new agent Okay, that's it for now. 
and uh, before going uh, do hit a like this uh, you know, session and then check out the video in the playlist on the same channel and yeah hit subscribe button to, to get more videos on the same subject thanks for now see you bye bye